Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. I'm at the Bellu Hay 2 press conference today, joined by the main man, Jordan Gill. How are you doing, Jordan? I'm good. Ready Very for Saturday? Good. More than ready. Just uh, going to soak it all up and enjoy it. Obviously, um, I see a thing on Sky Sports, um, behind the ropes, I think it was, yeah. um, where Dave said you've been uh, sparring, Tony. Obviously, you weren't hitting back at you. Yeah, we're doing bits. We're doing bits just, um, you know, it's good for him to have someone that's sharp and fast. Um, obviously, if, if, if his opponent, is, if his sparring partner hasn't turned up that day for whatever reason, if, if I can jump in and uh, chuck some punches at him, it's yeah. going to be a bit more beneficial than, than not happening. So. Um, yeah, we, we always help each other, everyone in that gym, we're always messing about, getting in the ring, and um, that's what it's all about, man. Is a think in mind that sort of, sort of obviously much lighter weight, sort of fainting, mm. sort of keeping Tony moving? Obviously, yeah, for sure. David's tactic's probably going to be that in this fight? Yeah, David's the sort of fighter where he sort of likes to sit low and, and, and trigger and uh, make people make mistakes and make them pay. And, uh, you know, we've only had a couple of sessions like that well, when, when me, me and Tony have actually been in the ring, but that's what I've been doing, just uh, triggering him, making him, making him uh, think, and uh, that's what it's all about. And how is Tony looking uh, ahead of Saturday night? Awesome. Yeah? Yeah, he's looking brilliant. I've, uh, I've never seen him, like, a sharp, obviously I've only been at the gym uh, a short while, but he's the sharpest I've seen him. He looks in terrific shape, looks a lot better than uh, the last time he boxed David Hay. And um, I've watched some of his spars, and you know, obviously you can't give anything away, but mm. he's looked electric. Looked okay. Electric. So let's come on to you. Last time you was out, your stock rose massively against yeah. your win against uh, Cunningham. It was a step up in that fight, and you did really well. Um, big chance this Saturday. O2 box office, obviously good exposure for you. What is sort of the plan this year? How many times do you want to get out? You know, as often as possible, really. I, I just want to, like I said, my stock's risen. Um, I feel like I'm ready for these title fights now. That last fight was a British title eliminator. Obviously, this one's a keep busy one. But, you know, if Tony says here, do you want to fight on Miranda Card against David Hay at the O2 Don't in front think of 20,000 people, <laughs> I, I'd bite his hand off uh, take that opportunity. So, keep him busy with this one. It's going to be a good fight. And, um, yeah, just... just um, be ready, be ready for them titles, so um, whatever comes up, I want it, anyone with a belt, I want it, so uh, if you're in my way, then we're going to get it on. Uh, yesterday, it was announced, June 6th, your call, Reese Bellotti yeah. uh, against Ryan Doyle um, on, on the undercard, mm. um, is, are they future opponents for you possibly? 100%, yeah. 100%, yeah, I love them fights, um, everyone's in boxing to fight, I want to fight, these are the names that I'm looking at, Bellotti's got the Commonwealth, and like I said, if you've got a belt, I want it, so um, you know I'm coming. I'm coming. See, Walsh has got the British as well. Yeah. Um, how quickly do you think you can get in them fights? It depends because I, I know uh, Isaac Lowe and Ryan Walsh have got a rematch. The boys ordered that rematch because they got a draw last time, and Isaac Lowe was mandatory. Um, so that's going to plan. It's going to see. Be interesting to see how that pans out. Um, I'm not sure who's going to win that. Obviously, it was a draw last time, mm. so it's going to be a close fight. Um, but then I'd imagine that um, Eddie would want the winner against Pilotti. So then it might tie up all of that for the next sort of six months, but we'll see. See, maybe by the end of the year, um, I could have the British and Commonwealth. Who knows? Definitely an interesting mix out for weight in the domestic day. Um, obviously, on the world stage, mm. well, it's a domestic fight, but at world, world level, um, big fight coming up. Um, Ellen Road, Lee Selby, Josh Warrington for the IBF. Yeah. I want a prediction from you. How do you think it's going to go? Do you know what? I'm going to have to sit on the fence. I think it's going to be a hard fight um, for both of them. Um, Selby's got the variety and the, and the movement and obviously the slick skills. I've uh, had the pleasure of sparring Lee Selby. Yep. Um, okay, when he was fighting uh, Barros, Jonathan Barros. Mm -hmm. Um, the fight that actually fell through over in Vegas. So um, I've shared the ring with him numerous times. Um, sparring, very good fighter, uh, good ring IQ. And actually recently I've, I've sparred Josh Warrington as well. So, um, you know, Josh is stronger than you'd think he is. He's uh, put some pressure on and he's a good pressure fighter. Um, it's going to be an interesting fight. Um, I think early rounds could go to Selby. I think um, the pressure and the, the 
um, non-stop non-stop sort of work rate, work rate. Uh, Warrington could make it close late on so I, I my prediction is a draw at Ellen Road really? yeah why not <laughs> I bet no one else has predicted no, that no so no not, we'll not the standard think, prediction yeah yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes but I mean, I'd expect the winner to fight Frampton next mm, I was just going to come on to Carl Frampton obviously we've seen him put a really good performance on yeah. against Nanita Dene yeah um, the winner gets Frampton do, who do you Will we get a prediction or are you going for another draw? <laughs> um, I think I think for me I'd have to pick Frampton. I think he's um, he's got them he's got them skills, he's got the grit, determination and um, he, he's, he looks like a strong little fucker as well. Like, <laughs> he's strong. Right, he looks yeah, I, I rate him. I like him. Um, you know, Selby's good as well, so it's, I don't know. Who uh, knows? Yeah. That's the best thing about boxing. Exactly. Everyone gets in the ring, no one's gonna know who's gonna win. But you know, we'll see, soon find out. Anyways, back on to you. Obviously, your last performance against Jason Cunningham, we saw a lot of sort of boxing skills, um, movement, feint. Is that sort of style we can sort of see with you? Yeah, for sure. Going I think, forward? Um, going forward, I've been sitting down on punches more. I feel like since that fight, I've improved tenfold. And uh, I'm looking forward to showcasing that on Saturday. Mm. So it's the case of getting in there. You know, I know, I know I'm punching hard. Um, I just, I just want to show it in the ring, and yeah. uh, I'm, I'll, I'm going for a knockout, whoever I fight. Yeah, and how's it going under Dave? Brilliant. Really happy? Yeah, so happy. So happy. Everything he said he, he's going to do, he's done. Um, I think this, we've only been together nine months. Yeah. It's my fourth fight coming up. Um, hopefully, the second knockout. I've had about seven knockdowns, so it's all, it's all good. Um, these big fights going to come. I'm learning so much, which is the main thing getting great sparring and um, been one of the main sparring partners with Jamie McDonald for his fight against uh, Inui yeah, in Japan, Japan. Yeah. Um, it's going to be yeah, it's going to be brilliant yeah, um, um, how's he been looking amazing. out of his trip to Japan amazing yeah, yeah. he's been looking really really good a lot of people um, not giving him a chance really yeah but you know it's like you know when you go up to weights like up weights up weights you can only do it so many times this kid is his third weight division if you look at like the best fighters in the world like Roman Gonzalez everyone says he was the monster but he's kept on going up weights and they pushed him and pushed him until he got beat and he, he did get beat so you know you can be a monster at one weight and then be a monster at the next weight but your third weight is hard and um, when you got someone that is tall and long with the boxing IQ of Jamie McDonald it's going to be a hard night for him I don't care I think um, Inui will be banking on, on Jamie not getting through sort of four or five rounds and I think once obviously Jamie's very tough when he gets through the three or four rounds I think um, you're just going to pick him off yeah. do you think he'll bring out the best of Jamie that step 100%. up it already has it already has yeah. in the gym it's the most focused I've seen him um, the fittest I've seen him the uh, like his weight's very very good um, for, for this far out everything's on point he could fight this weekend and be ready okay Jordan have you got a, a last message ahead of your fight on Saturday tune in I might be on that Facebook live uh, broadcast so um, it's going to be it's going to be exciting uh, enjoy the ride and um, enjoy the boxing okay Jordan thanks for your time thanks for talking to IFL I'm sure we'll catch up with you post fight